Hi guys, it is Brian Tay decided to do types of struggles girls face every day because honestly the struggle is real with literally everything. So yeah, let's get started. Before we start, I just want to say I'm not categorizing girls like boys have the same struggles. I'm just saying in general girls have it a little bit more, but it could be for all people. But I just don't want people to get the wrong idea. I don't mean just girls can have these struggles, but it's just a general thing that I think I relate to all these, so yeah. The first struggle is knots, because long hair equals knots. Like honestly, my hair is long, it gets knotty. My hair could be short, it could get knotty, honestly. But yeah, it's a struggle. Wow. I love long hair. Number two is when I put my hair up, I just suddenly look like a nine-year-old boy. Like. Hmm, yeah, that's exactly the look I was going for. So I look at least like a girl a little bit, but watch me put my hair up and then cry. So if I don't do like this, I literally look like a boy, and it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I have all this hair, but then I look like a boy. And oh look, my hair is back. Number three is periods. Just periods in general, they're literally awful. Everything about them, like nothing is good about them. So periods, period. <laughs> okay, whether you use pads or tampons or menstrual cups or anything, periods are awful. You're always feeling like you're gonna die. You're always basically dying. And Tylenol, Midol, all that stuff is your best friend. And it's awful. And uh, I kind of want to make a video all about periods, but like, I have boy viewers. Number four is Instagram feeds. I know boys have Instagram feeds too, but some girls take it to the extreme. I mean, I do, but, uh... Like, I get my Instagram feed isn't the best, but it's not awful. Five is dress codes. I feel like everyone has a dress code, obviously, for like their school, but girls get hounded on it so much more than boys, and it's like, okay, yeah, because, you know, boys can show their shoulders, but I can't. When I was in Florida, I got this really cute romper, and I was like, wow, I'll wear it to school, but I'm going to get dress coded, so I can't. But yeah, I definitely get dress coded, so I kind of can't wear this to school, which really triggers me because I'm in love with this, and yeah. The next one is higher expectations. At least at my school, boys come into school wearing like sweatpants and a hoodie, and I'm like, okay, cool. But if a girl does, it's like the end of the world, and it's like... Like, this is something that if I were to school, people would ask if I was sick or something. Seven, looking rough in photos. Every photo I take. Okay, but these all suck. Eight is being obsessed with online shopping. Boys like to buy like nerdy stuff I feel like online. But then girls are like clothes like bralettes and pants and shirts and dresses and it's rough. My second to last one is fuckboys. You guys had to realize I was going to put this on the list. When don't I? Okay, for fuckboys, I don't think I have to explain myself. It's a constant struggle, and yeah. And obviously, the final one is the most obvious. Bras. No matter if you have big boobs or small boobs. Me, honestly. But, uh, they suck. Yeah, I've come to the conclusion that bras are, like, the worst thing ever. It doesn't matter if you're like me and have no boobs or you are big boobed, but, uh, yeah, they suck. I mean, if you guys haven't noticed by now, I have the body of a nine-year-old boy, so I can't really relate too hard, but I can still relate. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys related a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Comment down below if you did. But yeah, watch my other videos. I upload every Tuesday, and I'll see you guys next week. I stole this shirt from my friend Alyssa, so shout out to her.